You know, that is how you defeat an insurgency. You do not do it with street violence because every insurgent you kill, you make another hundred. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what my dad did in World War II. He hunted what was called werewolves, which were Nazis when the Reich fell, went into the hills, vowed to fight the Allies for a hundred years. And you know how we defeated that insurgency? We rebuilt Germany. Right. Those guys came back out of the hills. Right. I agree. And they said, hey, you, Fritz, I got a job for you. And if we want to defuse this homegrown insurgency, I agree. we have to govern well. In fact, if you look at the U.S. military's counterinsurgency manual, peel away the tactical layers, it's just a handbook for good government. But here's the problem. So wait, we need yeah. a Marshall Plan for West Virginia? Is that yes. it? Okay, we need a Marshall. let's do it. Well, no, but th because this is what we've been talking about ever since I've been on the show. Globalization has ripped half the heart out of this country, yeah. and automation is going to rip half the other heart out. Yep. And if we don't get a handle on this, if we don't start to govern by what affects the most Americans, then we will lose again in four years. Yeah. No, the, I mean, it's true. I mean, the Democrats lost their base yeah. of, of especially white working class voters. Our Thank you, Ronald base. Reagan. Right. I mean, the Irish were never Republicans in this country no. until right. Reagan came along and they, they've, the white working class, the Democrats have the policies yes. that, you know, support the safety net and that the working class really needs. But Socially, we're very, very different, and it's terrible. It's terrible. It's heartbreaking for the Democratic Party to have lost any of the working class. So, but here's the conundrum. I mean, you, uh, yes, I agree. You don't want to further alienate the Republican base, the Republican voter. On the other hand, the Republican leadership, so has the whip hand in how power comes about in this country. And if we get back a little of it with Biden, I think, now, he'd need the Senate to do this, but you need to, when you have a little of this power, especially since things are so stacked against with the Electoral College the way it is, mm -hmm. that and sen two senators, four from the fucking Dakotas. Yeah. <laughs> they have how many people? And well, 40 million in Cal... With these structural differences, you have to get back power, which means packing the court, which means adding Puerto Rico as a state. You have to do those moves. You have to, they've shown with Merrick Garland and now this and everything else Trump has done, they are no conscience about power. We yeah. need to get back power. We're like in, in the deer hunter. We're, they have us you know, <laughs> in that shack playing Russian roulette. We gotta get more bullets in the gun. But the best way to do that is to understand how did Trump get elected because every fanatic, no matter Nazis, communists, Taliban, there always starts with the kernel of a legitimate concern. Mm -hmm. Correct. What are those legitimate concerns? Because people who yes. voted for Obama voted yes, for Trump. Yes, absolutely. My aunt, who I love in Yonkers, New York, voted for Trump. Yep. She's not a fanatic. Right. Why? So we can fix these problems. Because, look, there are issues we all agree on, right? We, none of us want illegal immigration. We just don't want to treat illegal immigrants like animals in cages. Right? Well, yes, but, I mean, Democrats did say a lot of things during the primary. Right. I mean, they made it sound like one, come one, come all. Right. And you get free health care. Well, and that's, they wanted to give, there were certain elements of so, our party that said, we want to give prisoners the right to vote in prison. Right. I, what? This, I know. <laughs> um, so, it will be nice, though, if I can uh, just fantasize for mm. a minute, if we got back to a place where we didn't have to operate all the time by, this is what Donald Trump thinks, mm -hmm. and now we have to react to that, as opposed to just what's true or not. Right. Donald Trump thinks he didn't lose the election, yeah. and then, right? It's just this bizarre, for yes. people our age, it's just bizarre that Donald Trump, that's a joke, his whole life he was a joke, and but, he still is a joke. But that he controls our thinking. Everything, that, everything. That we have to pretend all the time. But the best way to, to isolate, that's the thing that you do in an insurgent. You don't destroy them, you isolate them. Mao Zedong said that the insurgent is the fish that swims in the sea of peasants. Drain the sea and do that by delivering. Yeah. That's how Franklin Roosevelt brought about this liberal world that we all enjoy. He delivered.